A lot of people are hoping that the Fed's going to cut their rates. Now, let me tell you a thing or two about the Fed cutting rates. Such a pivot would not only very likely tank the market, but it would also imply real catastrophe in the US economy. Why the two, particularly what we care about most, stock prices, right? Because we are, you know, Winston and I here are um, ruthless investors, apparently. Well, not that ruthless, at least not this one. Um, why is that? Well, on average, when the Fed has pivoted and started cutting their rates again, the S&P has dropped 27% to the lowest point after those rates are cut. 27%. So, would you like to see the S&P 500 drop 25%? Probably not. But it is the likely outcome. Why? Because you're only going to get a pivot. You're only going to get rate cuts if something really breaks. And I'm not talking about some little old bank, well, the 16th largest in the US like SVIB, but something more major. Winston's just spotted someone walking past with a sandwich. That's the look. Um, he's a hunter. He's a trader after all. Um, secondly, it would imply that the Fed is basically saying massive recession is coming and stuff breaking, banking crisis, financial crisis, and a big recession are not good for stock earnings. And therefore, Winston is looking a little concerned here. So when you read this nonsense out there, people saying, yay, let's hope for a rate cut, the market's gonna rally, it won't. Very, very likely it'll tank, at least in my view, and then at some point it will recover, it tends to. But you have to also bear in mind that valuations are pretty lofty. Usually you go into a recession or a crisis um, and, and valuations come down pretty, pretty heftily, but they're still pretty lofty. Now, you might think that AI or something like that is the salvation that's going to be the next bubble possible. But the real underlying problem is we've had 20 years of very, very low interest rates. And what does the rational person with money do in those times where they borrow a lot to buy assets that make them some money? That applies to corporates, to companies listed and not. That applies to individuals. So everybody's got quite a lot of debt, assuming that debt is going to be cheap or even free. Well, that's changed, hasn't it? And we're seeing that already in the commercial retail real estate sector, where some 300 billion of debt, their debt is going to be have to be refinanced by 2025 um, and they're going to have to do that not at the one or two percent that they paid but quite possibly at much much higher rates so you could say well maybe that's why the fed wants to cut rates to prevent this massive massive increase in the cost of debt for governments and corporates and investors but really they're still fighting inflation so the only way this inflation fight is going to be won is through something really big breaking and a really big recession Winston's a little sad about that one so I just want to give you a little bit of a warning here that a rate cut if it does come is not the golden ticket that you thought it might be. If you enjoy our little videos here, do smash the like button, of course, and make sure you sign up for our free masterclass on April 9th at felixfriends.org slash wealth, where we, particularly Winston, will show you how successful traders consistently beat the market again and again and again. So join me for that, uh, felixfriends.org slash wealth. Link is down below, and thanks for watching.